need you. Hey, welcome back to a brand new video. Now, if you aren't aware, I released a video the other day on a theory on art, an artist with 80,000 followers that recently got in hot water when Daft Pina made a video calling them out and accusing them of multiple different things, including using discriminatory slurs and being an incel. And most of these accusations seem to have a lot of weight behind them. However, a theory on art released a response that to most people seemingly debunked every single thing they did. However, it would appear that they've seemingly taken a bit out of context and made themselves seem a lot more in the clear than they actually are. So today, I'm gonna sit down and go through more of the evidence, go through their response, go through Daft Penis' response to their response, and everything else that's come out publicly, including people's backlash towards me on my video. Before I begin though, if you're new to the channel or haven't already, I'm gonna give you some clear instructions. Please could you click the subscribe button down below to support this channel, it'll be right here. Follow that demonstration. And also feel free to check out my Twitter, which is also right here, if you'd like to support me on that platform and get to see me argue into an echo chamber about absolutely nothing every so often. With that being said, before I begin this video, everything from this point onwards is my own personal opinion and if you disagree with it, you can take your opinion to a trash bin. Obviously I'm kidding, you're free to have the wrong opinion if you so wish. And feel free to have any takeaway from this video that you want. Obviously I'm only presenting my own opinion and evidence, as I believe it's important for people that are supporting this person financially to be made aware of their actions so that they can decide for themselves if they want to support the artist after learning about this information. With that being said, let's jump cut to some gameplay. The Ethereum Art allegations reignited like a rocket when Ethereum Art released a tweet reading the following in quick retweet to Daft Penis tweet. Imagine cancelling a gay little black guy for saying the dreaded NLFs off Twitter with friends. Too bad you or Beta never reached out to me once, so I've just been chilling. Taking edgelord shitposts out of context is the best you got, but thanks for the free publicity. This tweet received 1.3k likes and rarely had anyone disagreeing with it, however there are a few points I'd like to bring up that I have issue with to debate this point from a more neutral standing. Ethereum Art's allegations weren't simply about them saying the dreaded N or F slurs. That wasn't the topic or focus of most of the allegations against them. In fact, there's a whole bunch more than they even mention here. However, even if it was just that they were gay and black and as such they could do these things, there's still a fine line between what they did and what would be acceptable, as if you look into the posts they were making in their server, a lot of them were very offensive and weren't just edgy jokes, like the following. What's this? of the desert think he's doing using the name of God like that. You know how the rainbow also symbolized different spectrums of autism? So essentially the pride flags don't represent sexuality, they stand for mental disability, which is why there's no official straight flag to be seen on iOS. Look at anime clubs, special ed rooms, and look at pride festivals. You can't point out a single difference. And it's amazing how actual gay people are still having a shit time. Whether Ethereum Arts is part of the LGBTQ community or not, these comments are all incredibly distant tasteful. However, I have even seen people bring into contention the fact that Ethereum claims to be gay, as there's multiple different messages of them talking about women and their attraction to women, and all of their art is either directly straight up NSFW artwork of women or lewd artwork of women. Though I'm not necessarily here to debate someone's sexuality and I don't really feel like it's my place to tell someone that they aren't the sexuality they claim to be, I just thought it would be important to bring up those points as I've seen a lot of people mentioning them. People have also brought up the fact that it would appear that Ethereum art has never shown their face and as such they could rely on being a person of colour to defend themselves and it would appear that people in Ethereum Art's Discord server according to this Twitter screenshot have also been even just saying that Ethereum Art could just claim they were a person of colour to get away with this. Though I'm not going to pry any further into that and the fact that we don't have any conclusive evidence to prove that Ethereum Art is lying about this at this moment means that I'm not going to pressure them to show their face or anything else. So I was reading through the comments on Ethereum Art's post and some people were saying that they got messaged and tagged from people telling them to unfollow and block Ethereum Art and the people need to learn to chill and get their shit straight before they take arms and rise against the threat and Ethereum Art says lesson is to block anyone telling you to block. Shit's old man, fuck em. And if I was to read that over, I kind of agree with the general consensus. You shouldn't tell someone to stop supporting someone because you personally disagree with them. At the end of the day, you can support literally whoever you want online. If you're fine with edgy jokes, or if you're fine with people saying this offensive stuff, then literally be my guest. I'm not gonna tell you to stop supporting someone because I personally disagree with their actions. I'm just bringing awareness to their actions. So if you decide personally that you don't like those actions, you can retract your support of someone. If you're watching my video right now and you were considering messaging a content creator that follows
as a free runner or anyone else in this way, please reconsider. I don't necessarily think it's your place to tell someone who they can support. Though I also saw some people blindly defending a free run art without digging into what they did. Someone like Mochi saying, hey look, more pointless Twitter clout drama. Lamau, yeah, I don't think I care. You're a good person in my book and that stuff seems like pointless clout for attention. To which Love Fire responds, good person, in quotes, and then they say, yeah, no, this shit doesn't even read as a joke. This is just awful, as well as making fun of trans suicide. And the screenshot they show is a fear and art saying, my heart goes out to all those, I guess, extreme femboys and tomboys, but trans people are a cult. A cult hell-bent on mutilation to validate their members without question. I don't even want to put those super feminine boys or masculine girls that have a healthy mind in the flag of the century. No matter how you take this, the screenshot they show is not a joke and it's not pointless clout for attention. What they show is very clearly a fear and art making a transphobic remark and saying that trans people are a cult and also that trans people are a cult hell-bent on mutilation to validate their members without question. No matter how you take that, that's very clearly a take made in disregard and hatred towards trans people and I believe that anyone that's trans supporting a fear and art or an ally to trans people may retract their support of a fear and art after seeing something like this which is why I feel like it makes sense that people would bring this up and why I've made my videos calling out a fear and art for this stuff because whether you personally don't think this is a bad thing yourself I feel like people should be allowed to be aware of this stuff and I feel like it should be something that's allowed to be brought up. Off the topic of those replies though, Duft Pina actually made a tweet about this situation, saying, Update, my vid shows Aether being an incel and many cases of him not getting dates with girls and extreme misogyny. Many times he's bashed LGBTQ people, claiming it's a mental disability and mocking trans deaths. When revealed, he nuked the server and is now saying he is black and gay, and Duft Pina attaches this video that I'll play for you now. Giving the bitch a credit card, though I think that was the smartest thing that they were doing back then. Bella bastard probably just is a bastard and doesn't have like a, a strong a strong like a uh, male figure that can beat the shit out of mama over there whenever he's like oh it's just a joke Linda and this chicken's fucking cold I'm trying to get cancelled. Duffed Pina's video highlights a few things. One, a fear on art seemingly does have an attraction to women, which could mean they're bisexual, but from the way they worded it, saying they were gay, it seems a bit disingenuous to what they actually are. But even again, if they were gay, it doesn't change the fact that many of their comments are absolutely outlandish. But in continuation, this video also seemingly shows that the fear and art has never shown their face and they could just claim to be a person of colour. It highlights many of their distasteful comments, some of which could be passed as jokes, but some of them definitely couldn't. And ends with a clip of Daft Penis showing that the Discord server was seemingly deleted. However, I did see a post in reply to this allegation showing the server and claiming that it wasn't actually taken down but blocked from raiders to protect the server and that Ethereum art was not hiding and as such it seems that that one point in Daft Pina's video is devalued. Again people also started screenshotting this post and sharing it around and all I really have to say in response to that is Buster how do you know if any of this stuff is true? What do you mean? How do you know someone didn't just make it up? What? You mean just lie? You really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? I just mean that some of the details... Oh, I never thought of that. 
This is terrible. What if none of it's true? What if they're all lying? How would we ever know? And then so more replies saying, glad being black and gay excuses this quote. And then they highlight one of the very offensive quotes. However, I also saw another tweet that actually does bring up a fair point. This person says, dude, you reached out to an alleged predator to try and get their side, but you didn't reach out to a racist douche. Why give them the benefit of the doubt, but not a theory on? And someone else says, to be fair, Daft did interviews not to only hear their side, but also to challenge them when it came to information. I feel that is a semi-fair criticism towards Daft, because if you're giving people the opportunity to defend themselves on your channel and other allegations, it should be only fair that you give everyone an equal chance to defend themselves. And I personally did attempt to reach out to a fear on art after I recognized this. However, I haven't received any response. And to be honest, I didn't really expect myself to receive one. But I don't necessarily think a YouTuber should be obligated to reach out to someone they're making a video on. People make videos on everyone every single day and that person should defend themselves with their own counter evidence. It's not up to the YouTuber just bringing attention to evidence and bringing it to the spotlight for them to make the effort to try and contact someone that likely wouldn't even respond and could give them a sob story or manipulate the facts to turn it towards their side. I feel like it is more of a clean cut case when a YouTuber posts the allegations and then the other YouTuber gets the opportunity to respond. Though I do feel like if Daft is going to offer that courtesy to some people it does make sense they should probably offer it to everyone. Finally, I saw some people defending being an incel and to those people, all I can really say is according to the definition of incel, your views would be associated with views that are hostile towards women and men who are sexually active, which I'd say is pretty sexist and pretty misogynist, which I'd argue is a bad thing, obviously. Finally, I'd like to address one tweet from Dr. Neo who I responded to in private explaining my side more, but those are private DMs so I won't share them. And their tweet says, this is literally Daft Pina's video, but in a British accent, absolutely nothing new. Also, they imply there is more evidence in an actual victim in this, then why didn't you talk about that, you dumb child? And if you couldn't bring it up, then why even mention it? And to this person, I'd like to make a few clarifications. Firstly, I could argue my video does expand upon a fear and arts response at the time, showing some of the posts they'd liked and communicating the general consensus of how they'd respond to these allegations. And also, I felt like my video signal boosted the allegations and also gave the perspective of a person in the LGBTQ, which I feel like is very important to this situation, as, as far as I'm aware, Daft isn't one of those. Furthermore, I never implied there was more evidence other than what was shown in Daft Penis video. I was explaining that there were multiple different screenshots I could use to show them using slurs and also how they'd continued this behavior, but I felt like it would fall on deaf ears at this point as I'd already really shown any point that was actually important towards this video. And if you paid attention to the actual clip they link, which I'll show to you now, I never once implied that there was an actual victim. I implied that I could give my own perspective as a person, a minority affected in this situation. I'll probably go over more evidence against the theory and art of them doing more bigotry, more slurs, etc. And I could probably also provide a pretty good recount of one of the minorities affected in this situation and how this situation has affected them. We just invented a new sport. It's kind of like basketball, but instead we're using a 30 pound dumbbell. Yeah, blocking. Shooting. With that being said, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope this video has helped you inform yourself on this situation. With that being said, can you hear the birds outside? Because I can too. It's 6am and that also means that it's time for you to check out my Twitter down below. If you'd like to also, after checking out my Twitter and reading some of the things I have to say about stuff you probably don't care about, if you could also consider subscribing to my channel from that point because the button is literally just below and you can turn on notifications while you're there to check out any other content whenever you get notified about it. And as I post daily, I'm sure that there'll be a lot of content you're possibly interested in. If you did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate if you could just give it a thumbs up down below. Or you don't have to, but I'd love to hear your opinion on this situation down below. And I hope you aren't too harsh on me for disagreeing with you possibly on some of the situation. Obviously, as Pry mentioned, this video is completely my own opinion. And if you disagree with it, that is completely fine and I completely understand. I'm not going to tell anyone how they should feel in this situation. I'm just presenting you the information and allowing you to have your own takeaway from it. While also sharing my own takeaway. And I want to make sure that everyone that supports the fear on art is aware of this behavior and what that person partakes in doing and where the people's money go to when they support them financially so that the audience can make an informed decision as to whether they want to support this content creator after being made aware of this behavior. With that being said, I'll see you next time. Can't wait to get ratioed on this tweet too. Peace.